News reporter Olivia Jaquit joins us live in the Digital Center tonight with new details on what's next for these now approved projects. Olivia. That's right, Deanna. Provisional and mail in ballots received after Election Day are still being counted, but at this point, both counties' bond proposals have significant support. Now, the debt won't hit these localities all at once, though. Instead, it'll be spread out over the next several years. Overwhelming approval at the polls for two multi million dollar bond proposals in Chesterfield and Henrico counties. The affirmation for all four questions on our bond referendum is the highest in this county's history. It really means the most when we can go out to the market and borrow with a referendum, an uh, approved referendum in our pocket. Deputy County Administrators Brandon Hinton and Matt Harris sharing the next steps now that enough ballots have been cast to push the projects forward. The bulk of Henrico's $511 million bond referendum is slated for the county schools. Jackson Davis and Longan Elementary Schools are among the top of the priority list to rebuild and increase capacity for more students, as well as a new zero net energy use environmental education living building at Wilton Farm. The design process takes 10 months or so. By next fall, uh, with the market being okay for us to issue bonds, you'll start to see construction around the county. That also includes upgrades to the county's parks, fire stations, and stormwater drainage. Like Henrico, Chesterfield County's bonds, totaling $540 million, will not all be issued at once. We'll kind of come up with a formalized order of the project. So that's the next major step. And then for that first group of, you know, two or three projects, we will have an actual bond sale uh, in the spring, probably in, in May, close in June, and then, you know, we're off to the races in terms of actually, uh, t you know, turning dirt over in, in July or August. Harris says among those top priorities are work on police and fire stations and the $40 million replacement of A.M. Davis Elementary School, with additional projects to be spread out over the next 8 to 10 years. And both counties are planning to build new schools and public safety facilities to address the needs of a larger population, which Harris tells me will continue to influence which projects come first. In both localities, Hinton and Harris say construction could start around this time next year. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.